Video game manuals have become a thing of the past. Explaining the controls can be done in the first hour of gameplay, enemy names are shown in the credits or revealed by a companion, and safety warnings show as the game boots up. Most genres have been around long enough that no one needs to be told that R is shoot or A is jump. And yet, here I am devoting a TODT towards showing off the manual. Why? Because this thing is 36 pages long, and that isn't because it repeats the same 7 pages in 5 languages. Of course, there are some standard manual things like a brief synopsis of the story, how to control Pac-Man... What? Are those spoilers for worlds we haven't seen yet? Yeah, this manual goes all out. It spoils every world, every mechanic, and even goes out of its way to explain what levels are. The only way my hand could be held tighter was if it explained what video games are. You know those videos showing every possible way you can die in a video game? Don't bother making one for Pac-Man World 2 because the manual describes every possible cause of death. It has a compendium of friends and foes, but don't write home about it. As much as I would have enjoyed if the names of the enemies were a play on words, or shared the quirkiness of Pikmin's cast, unfortunately their names are right on the nose. Bat. Pack Bear. Jumping Fish. Well, I guess there's this guy. He and his like appear in three colors, earning them the name RGB. <laughs> More people would have gotten that joke back in 03. Some of these spoil us on later worlds, but thankfully those screenshots aren't what I found interesting, so I can blur them out. Do you see this? And this? Those levels aren't in the final game. This field of view is impossible to obtain with the in-game camera. The camera was most likely finalized late in development since FOV differences are a recurring trend in most of these screenshots. I didn't want to test each of the 24 screenshots in the booklet, and this detail is kind of boring, so this is the only field of view difference that I'm going to point out. This version of the forest uses a different ground texture, and the pack cub is absent from bare basics. This is not what treetops looks like in the final product. Are those brambles down below? This is the closest I could get to matching the booklet screenshot, but the fish is jumping the wrong way and there's no power pelt in the background, so I think this is a completely different version of Icy River Run. A telling detail is that all of these images depict the players having three lives, suggesting that a console command was used to unlock every level. The last two screenshots are images of the final product and have a different amount of lives. The credits, which are conveniently located at the back of the book, revealed the manual's design was outsourced to the price design team. They probably asked the devs to provide screenshots early in development so that they had time to design all 36 pages. So thanks, Price. Because of your overachievement, we got a glimpse of the beta. Oh, <laughs> and without you, we would still be wondering, debating, postulating that elusive question, what are levels?